Good afternoon, um, and welcome to my laboratory. I guess I owe everybody an explanation about phase relationships and what was going on in that last uh, mini Q or micro QEG video. So here it is. First, I want to talk a little bit about phase and what we mean by phase relationship and what it looks like on the oscilloscope. Okay, here uh, what we have here is uh, two signals. One of them, this one, is coming from the F43 function generator down there. And the F43 function generator has a trigger sync input and a triggered mode. So what I'm doing is I'm using an input from another function generator way up there somewhere to produce this signal, this top signal up here and then I'm using the top signal to trigger the F43's bottom signal and this is all happening at 300 kilohertz very close to the frequency that I showed in the micro cube quig video okay now why am I doing this I'm doing this because the F43 has a phase control on it that controls the phase of its triggered response to a triggering input so what that means is that I can vary the phase of this signal with respect to okay and uh, let's make sure that I'm actually triggering the scope on the right channel alright so so now these signals are in phase right and they're in phase because um, if I line them up together you can see that they overlap exactly but more importantly the zero crossings are in the same place and the peaks are in the same place horizontally okay right and uh, oops, sorry and then if I um, if I go to the F43 and I vary the phase control you can see that the bottom signal moves with respect to the top signal and if I go to a position where the peak of one signal is right at the zero crossing of the other signal like that that's a 90 degree phase shift okay okay so I can go from fully in phase to 90 degrees out of phase a little bit more than that okay so that's a phase shift there and I want to show how to determine the phase shift if we take the oscilloscope oh uh, a 180 degree phase shift of course would make the screen look like this where the peaks of one signal correspond to the troughs of the other signal exactly but uh, we don't want to go that far. We're mostly concerned with the phase shifts in the first quadrant, which is from 0 to 90 degrees. Okay, so we would be looking from that's 0 and that's about 90 degrees right there. Okay. Now, here's the deal. If these two are overlapped perfectly like that, we know that they're in phase, right? So now I'm going to switch the scope's uh, horizontal setting to the XY mode. Okay, so now one input signal is controlling the uh, X deflection and the other input signal is controlling the vertical deflection. And this is the classic Lissajou signature of a signal that's in phase. It's a 45 degree angle 
and it's almost a straight line, perfectly straight line. If I vary the phase control a little bit, I can get that thing to be perfectly straight and perfectly narrow, like that. And that's the classic Lu Xiu pattern that indicates in phase sine waves with very little distortion. Okay. Now, as I as I well, I'm varying the phase control down here, of course. So as I vary that phase control, you can see that we get an increasingly circular pattern. There's a pretty round circle, and then we go towards a diagonal line in the other direction. And that's as far as my function generator can go in the other direction. I don't have a full 180 degree control of the phase on this thing. But if this were narrowed down to a straight line in this direction, that would be a full 180 degree out of phase situation. And so what that means is when the Lucas U pattern is a perfect circle or as circular as you can get it, then you have a 90 degree phase difference between the two signals. So let's just see what that looks like by going back to the one microsecond per division display and uh, sure enough we see that sorry about that we see that the peak of the one signal is right where the zero crossing of the other signal lies right so that's a perfect 90 degree out of phase situation right there okay so that's uh, using once again using the Lisa Zhu pattern in the XY mode of the scope to determine the phase shift. So small phase shifts might look like, or rather, small phase shifts might look like this, just a little bit of fattening of that diagonal line. 90 degree phase shifts are going to look like a perfect circle. Something slightly less than 90 degrees will have a little bit of an oblong in that direction something slightly more than 90 degrees will have a little bit of an oblong in that direction until you're fully 180 degrees out of phase and this squirts down and you got a diagonal slash in that direction. Okay. Now stay tuned and I'm going to apply this to the practical situation of the um, micro QEG measurements in a moment.